So questionnaires as a research method. So questionnaires, if we were looking at them, they're positivist, they're primary, quantitative, reliable and representative as a method. Questionnaires can come in lots of different shapes and sizes. So essentially a questionnaire is a list of questions that you're given to a participant, a sample or respondent, and you're asking them to uh, record their answers and return them. This can be done written, it can be distributed by post or online. And obviously the definitions we've got here is a postal questionnaire is sent via the post. A self-completion questionnaire is one that you do yourself. Most questionnaires tend to be self-completion, even if they're sent via the post or online. And online questionnaires can be sent via online technology. Some key concepts to do with questionnaires as a research method. So they are a standardized method, which means that every questionnaire is the same. All participants answer the same questions in the same order, generally in the same format. Open questions are questions where there is no suggested answer. It's often the text box. You find them as the, the other style question at the end of a questionnaire, where you can write in any response you want. Closed questions, on the other hand, are the selective questions where you have a multiple choice and you have to tick the most appropriate answer. Generally, questionnaires are more likely to be made using closed questions. While you will find open questions, the level of information you receive through them is quite limited. So generally, we tend to think of questionnaires as closed, which therefore leads to them being more likely to be quantitative and, um, uh, and sort of reliable as a research method, less likely to get qualitative data from a questionnaire. Social desirability is often something we see with interviewing, but it does appear in questionnaires where people will potentially give the socially acceptable or the socially desirable response. So they will tick an answer they feel is what the researcher wants or they think is more appropriate socially. Probably the most common example would be um, sort of NHS health surveys when it asks how much you drink or you smoke um, or how much exercise you might have in a week. And people will be more likely to sort of go with the average of, you know, I, I have a little bit to drink or I do a little bit of exercise, which may be the more desirable answer, but may not necessarily be the truth. To operationalize questionnaires, you need to make sure that it's measurable. So you may be taking quite a complicated idea like religion, or if you think about Durkheim, um, taking a topic like suicide and having to turn it into something that can be measured. Now, Durkheim didn't use questionnaires, but as an example, that's quite a, a topic that would need to be operationalized well. So you're taking a topic and trying to make it measurable. And a pilot study is a trial run of your questionnaire, often conducted before the real survey to test your questionnaire on a smaller sample to see if it works and whether it makes sense and whether there are any challenges the sample will find in answering. Now, some examples of questionnaires being used within sociology um, are Bells and Gintis, who studied 237 New York high schools using questionnaires, and that was part of their, um, their Marxist studies on the myth of meritocracy, the correspondence principle. It formed part of the data for that study. Schofield uh, did an interesting study about sexual behaviour. It was the first sexual behaviour study in the UK conducted in, um, I believe, it was the late 70s. And again, it was looking at sexual behaviours of younger people. And this was done via a questionnaire. But because the researcher delivered the questions, it became a structured interview. And one of the things that was found in doing so was that people were less likely to give honest answers, didn't want to respond or gave socially desirable responses. Um, very similar to the Height Report, which again is another study which received a very low response rate because it was testing sexual attitudes. Uh, Rutter did a study on 12 inner London schools or inner London area schools, um, and this formed part of their 15,000 hour study. So it's an interpretivist approach, an interpretivist study, but using a positivist method. And last but not least, the census. So it's conducted every 10 years in the UK since 1851. The next census will be happening this year in 2021. As a method, it's good practically for time because it's quite quick to create, quick to distribute, and it's quite low cost as a method. However, one thing to be aware of is funding bodies. If you are requiring or requesting funding from the government, uh, they will be more likely to give funding because of questionnaires and their quantitative data, but the topic may be impacted on. Questionnaires tend to suffer from a low response rate where people do not return the questionnaires. Access is quite good because, again, it's easy to access closed settings like schools, prisons by just posting the questionnaire to the setting. You don't have to physically go there yourself. Personal skills can be a strength 
and sometimes a weakness. So it does require very little personal skills to conduct a questionnaire, but you might need analysis skills to go through the data on a computer. You might need some skills to operationalize the topic. And last but not least, research characteristics. Quite a reduced effect with these, unless it's a almost like a structured interview where you are present with the researcher, the researcher's characteristic has quite a limited impact. Ethically, there is little deception. You can offer the right to withdraw and you do get a form of implicit informed consent because the people are filling in the questionnaire and returning it. A questionnaire is unlikely to cause any kind of physical harm, but looking at sensitivity, it could cause some kind of emotional harm because you're not there with the sample, because you cannot build a rapport. Tackling sensitive topics, maybe like um, abuse, mental health, uh, could be quite a sensitive issue to go straight into with quite a, a kind of blunt instrument like a questionnaire. And then theoretically, positivists like it because the data is quantitative, reliable, representative, and therefore can be generalized. So it's large sample size allows generalizations. Interpretivists are not a fan because questionnaires tend to lack the qualitative data, the validity, and the Verstehen that they prefer from their research. And there we have it, so that's questionnaires as a research method.